Previously on Astro Hunter Zosma, the party met Nadir the Necromancer, who seemingly had no wish. While traversing the Ophiuchus Obelisk, Zosma learned that he actually died at the start of the game. Fortunately, Nadir revealed that there was a way to bring Zosma back to life, thanks to Picari containing his soul. In the final area of the Expanding Void, the party defeated the Tire Tyrant and claimed the last of the game's treasures, bringing them to triple S rank. Alright, let's continue on. Through here lies the top of the Crescent Moon Tower. Are you ready to go? Yes. Zosma. It's finally time. Everything you have fought for, it will all soon become clear. There's no time to lose. I will meet you up ahead. And the door back to the world of the living will await you. Hmm, but are, is there actually going to be a full-on final dungeon, or is it just bosses? Because there's not any- there's not going to be any more gems to collect. So it's finally time to go home. We've been through so much, and so many adventures. I really couldn't have made this far without you, you know? And when we go home, I'll show you so many great things to do and places to see. But can Picari even leave the tower? Things that I never thought to go see before now. I hope we can experience life together. Right, pal? I guess you're not gonna leave. Gate of Memories. I'm gonna see more of your past. I-I don't see any level indicator or save point. You've made it. This is the very top of the tower. Here, all of the feats you have achieved will come to fruition. All the people you have helped, all of the treasures you have collected. They all led to this place for a single purpose. Sis, I've done so much and you met so many people here. And yet you still haven't told me what happened. When you went missing all those years ago. When you went and left me all alone. Nadir told me that he wants me to carry on the legacy of everyone I met here. But I can't do that unless I help you. If you're here too, I can't go home until I fulfill your wish. Tell me everything, sis. Why was that bracelet so important that you had to die for it? I have kept you waiting long enough. Becoming a natural hunter was one of the defining moments of my life. I love the challenge, I love the danger. Every adventure was something new and exciting. I had such a natural talent for adventuring that I thought I could achieve anything. I became one of the greatest astral hunters known to man. I thought there was no challenge too great for me to overcome. And yet there was one challenge that no Astro Hunter dared to face. Finding the bracelet that matches yours. It said that when the two come together, it can grant any one wish. And after so many months of searching, after delving into the deepest of dungeons and fighting the most fearsome of monsters, I finally found my treasure. The bracelet. However, finding this bracelet cost my life. Upon removing it from its chamber, I was no longer free to leave that deep and dangerous place. I perished in the depths of the world itself. And that is how I end up here. But now you have come here with its partner, that wish can finally be granted. You wish to live again, don't you? Oh, do I have to make a, a choice on who to use the wish for? No. My wish is to give you a second chance, Zosma. To achieve great things and to become a truly great Astro Hunter. I just don't want you to make the same mistake that I did. Death. It may have been an, an inevitability for us all. Everyone who inhabits this tower has experienced the ends of their stories. But their memories can live on in many ways. All of the memories you have forged with those you've met here, and all of the treasure you have collected. All of those things have stories to tell. No matter how big or small someone may have been in life, they helped shape the world in some way. I want you to have the chance to show the world just how much those stories helped shape the future. Please, Ozma. I want you to bring about a new cycle. A new cycle for those memories. Everyone I met here, they all lived different and storied lives. I want to do the same. I don't want those stories to fade away from memory. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have had the courage to make it this far. I want to live on. For you and for those who help shape the present. So I might help shape the future too. I'm glad, Zazma. But I still need to know if you are truly capable of being a great Astro Hunter. One more challenge. Up ahead is the final door. The way home. We will open it together. What level do you recommend? Well, Picari, are you ready to go? Whatever happens. I know we can do it together. Is there no save point? Oh, there is. Okay. Here for one last round of shopping? Be sure to leave me with heavy pockets, my number one customer. What can I get you today? Let's make sure I have the, the basics. 
you're here at last. Well, whatever happens here, I hope you won't forget your darling friend the save point. Now then. Point restored. Okay, just to challenge myself, since I'm kind of overleveled, I gave Picari a slightly more balanced skill set. Now Picari will b both heal and use magic. And of course, I gave Picari food this time. This is it, Sazma. The final door of the tower. The way home. It is here that we will recomplete your soul and make you whole again. And you will be able to return home to the world of the living. But if the Neb uses some kind of counterattack or reflection stuff, I'm going to go back to the heal pure healing build. The way home. I have watched you on every leg of this journey, from when you first descended into this tower through all of your meetings with the deceased. Now seeing you here at last. But I must know it firsthand. I want to see if you are truly capable of being the great Astro Hunter that I have hoped you would be. Prove to me that you can live on as a hero. Be brave, Astro Hunter Zazma. A true Astro Hunter will show resolve in the face of uncertainty. I want to see that resolve for myself. Show me that I was right to place my faith in you. I won't lay down. I want to grant your wish. Turn one. Oh wow, Picari's actually faster now. Okay, but it really would be nice if Picari had actual good AI. Just saying. Okay. Magic focus. Zeal. Pulse. Team Tackle. That's a lot of damage. I should have used full assist, dang it. Even when I debuffed you. Man. Okay. Power focus. Ice Sunder. High Freeze. Zazma, have you ever thought about why you wanted to be an Astro Hunter in the first place? It's because I looked up to you, sis. You were the best there was, and I was always staying in your shadow. I didn't want to fail us by lagging behind. I wanted to be just as great as you were. Even if it meant making the same mistakes. Mistakes that cost me my life. Oh man, I'm gonna have to start using some heals. Ugh. Magic focus. See shanty. Very tonic self. Still using assist a lot, huh? Oh well, probably for the best. I am getting my butt kicked pretty bad. Power focus. Ice Sunder. Power Swing. Ice Sunder. Charge. High Freeze. Something that you must come to realize, Osmo, is that there is no such thing as the greatest or the best. Even those we look up to have flaws of their own. I was never the best Asher Hunter. My own hubris led to my undoing. And I won't let it lead to yours either. Oh, nuts. Tidal wave. I won't let you buff. Yeah. And now I just do regular combo, I guess. Yeah. Ok... 
Okay, let's use recast zeal. Chain break. Int down, but you already had that, so that was kind of redundant. It's not going to deal that much damage, but it's better than nothing. Magic charge. I freeze. You surely have grown to yourself. The strength that you have shown me has proven that you are more capable than you believe yourself to be. Oh no, a second form! But we've only just started. Let your willpower lead you to a second chance. Oh nuts, my buffs! An all cancel maneuver. Crap. Wait, the Nebs kept her debuff, so I guess that's good. Power focus. I freeze. Why do you want to grant my wish, Zazma? Do you see it as a means to an end so that you may return home? Grant wishes is more than about feats or sh of strength or helping others find peace. It's about doing the right thing and showing others the kindness and dignity that they showed me. You may have pushed me to my limits in the past, but deep down, I knew it was because you believed in me. I want to show you the same faith, so that you may find the same happiness that you wanted for me. Ow. Okay. Flash cure. Things are looking pretty bad. Zeal. Ah. Man, this is not looking good. Probably start using some of these more OP looking things. Since it's just the final battle of the game, unless they add something else. There, making progress. Ugh. Man, they won't let me have shit in this game. Ow. It was never about how you died that matters to me. I will always remember you for the courage and greatness you shared with me in life. All the people that I met here, I want to tell their stories. I don't want their impact on the world to be forgotten so easily. I hope I can continue their legacies. I want to do the same for you. Okay. I freeze and then I'll use an item. Okay, um, I think one more sh push should do it. Magic charge. High freeze. Wait, do you have a second form or third form? Zosma. You fought well. I no longer have any doubt that you can become as great of a natural hunter as you want to be. You truly have lived up to the title of Wish Granter. I hope you will continue to help those you meet in life as much as you did for those in death. 
And now it's time for us to open the final door. I just realized, using ice might have been a bad idea in some ways. Even if I'm using that s uh, skill that uh, rem uh, that lowers her ice defense. So I kind of beat her at her own element there, huh? For many years, I pushed you to be the best that you could be. And I never did so out of spite or disbelief. I really and truly believe that you can make a difference in the world. Just as you made a difference to th these restless spirits throughout the ages. Seriously, you're the only person in the world with a combo system. That's kind of OP, actually. Everyone here, they all had such storied lives. There will come a time when where their stories are forgotten forever, whether it be hundreds or even thousands of years from now. But if I can carry on their stories for even just a little bit longer, I'm sure souls will be truly happy to know that others can feel their impact on the world. And yours too, sis. I want to grant your wish at last. So that I can bring your s story to others. I want the world to know how amazing you were, and how much you believed in me. Then it's time for you to return home. It's next to your friend Picari that your soul was kept safe throughout the, your journey. But what will happen to Picari? Picari is the reason I was able to make it this far. We've been on so many adventures, and now we'll finally go home. I've watched Picari travel with you since the beginning. They are truly a p wonderful companion, and I'm sure that they will be able to come with you. Really? However, Picari is a very special creature. Their purpose was to hold your soul and keep it safe. Indeed, Picari is the key to keeping your soul intact when you return home. They will be a part of it as well. As such, Picari will lose the form that you see before you now. So th this means Picari and I won't be going on any more adventures. But we're Team Leonis. Oh wow, they actually kept your name from the tournament. We were supposed to be friends until the end. Bud, it's going to be hard without you. But if it means that a part of you will live on within me, I promise I'll go on enough adventures for us both. Just don't make me any hungrier, okay? Alright, bud. I just... I... I... I'll make sure Team Leonis lives on. I'm ready. Then let the two bracelets come together at last. Zosma, thank you for everything. I know you will use this second chance to do truly great things. I've always believed in you, Wish Granner. I'm counting on you. Live, on, live an amazing life for us both. Sis, I won't let you down. I know, Picari, you're eager to leave your impact on the world too, so that I can live on for you. But boy, that doesn't make any easier. Well, I won't keep you waiting any longer. Are you ready to go? Team Leonis will live on. I promise. We can't keep the world waiting. We have so many stories to tell. Erg. That's where the trapdoor was. You might not want to step on there. Hey, this is... The place where it all began. Hey, I heard something in, from in there. Oh, it's just Ozma. How do you just turn up like that? We thought you disappeared in here for good, you know? Well, I... Hey, you finally found some treasure. Wait, what? You're telling me you... Uh, you we tr grabbed treasure from Purgatory itself and brought it into the living world? Wow, that's a lot of treasure, too. How are you carrying it all? I don't know how I'm going to top that. All this treasure... It, all meant something to someone once upon a time. It doesn't matter to me how much I found. All that matters is that each and every one of them carries on a legend. And I'm going to show the world what those legends meant, and how important they are to our futures. He's going to go down in history as a great treasure hunter, that's for sure. I might as well give up. I guess we underestimated him.
Zazma determined to tell the stories of those he met along his journey, chose not to bask in the wealth that his treasures would have brought him. Instead, he opened a museum dedicated to the lives of those of ages past. It was an unbelievably huge museum that was known as one of the best in the world. People from all uh, came from all around to visit its exhibits, and so the tales of those he helped put to rest lived on for many generations. Zosma saw a newfound success in his career as a, an astro hunter. Known as one of the greatest treasure hunters that ever exist, Zosma quickly became the top astro hunter in the guild. He spent the rest of his days searching for treasure and discovering the stories that those from ages past left behind for the future. He never once took for granted the second chance that his sister gave him. Determined to make a name for both himself and Deneb, he dedicated his life to his passion. Other hunters from across the globe would tell tales of his success. Would things change if he didn't find all the treasure, though? I'm not sure. Making an impact on the world is all Zosma ever strove for, and becoming the greatest astro hunter of them all helped to inspire others to always do their best and to give it their all. Oh, unlike the previous Torch games, this one didn't really have a, a true antagonist. Mostly people who are, want to help Zosma but also want to test him. Yeah, what if you tried to get through the game while finding the bare minimum amount of treasure? Would dialogue change in the ending? I have a feeling it would. Maybe Zosma would just be like a mid-rank hunter or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's possible the ending changes based on your final rank. Hmm, so I kind of wish we could actually have some of these tower bosses in the story. I mean, in the in the party, S since we did kind of get Skullbone sort of playable of her ship. Mm, I didn't expect a vocal ending song though. They even shop get here too, huh? Even the bosses of the betwixt? Even the most basic of NPCs. What about that guy who was blocking the final treasure? Hmm. Play a lot of playtesters. Some names they recognize, I think. Hmm, combat wise, yeah. It feels like Zazba is pretty much the. Uh, uh, the main feature of the game with his combo system. Picari's AI is, well, just not very good. For the most part, I feel like the most optimal way to use Picari is just as a healer. Though I feel like using Magic Blast is also a viable solution because you, uh, you, uh, it, with your Astro skills, you can only do a debu debuff on the enemy once, but Picari can just spam Magic Blast to keep applying debuffs. So, in, in a way, Magic Blast is probably one of the better skills. Even if it, it means less healing. Low-key voice of Picari. 
What if someone had named the, the slime Loki? Guess we should start thinking about our next big adventure. Right, Picari? Just won't be the same without you here, though. I'll think about every treasure we found and every adventure we had together. I couldn't have done any of it without you, Picari. You really were the heart and soul of Team Leonis. Huh? Is this my reward for getting every tre every treasure? It, it means that Picari gets to manifest in the real world? Picari, is it really you? I thought you disappeared forever. How? I suppose it doesn't matter. Adventuring just wouldn't be the same without you. What do you say, pal? Are you ready to find another big treasure? That's what you look like underneath, huh? I wonder what kinds of places we'll see next. That's right, he's not a spirit, like, d dissonance. He's a human. Oh, there is a post-game thing. Level 30. Wait. Two! New challenges await you in the betwixt. I may want to switch back to a full heal build. Adventure clear, triple S. You want to save your progress. We'll be returning to be Twixen before the final battle. Yes. Clear f star. Okay. Enter a strange portal. Yes. Who could level 30 be? I wonder what we'll find here. Well, hey. Box. Uh, cardboard Bob. Hey there, little boy and fuzzy friend. Cardboard Bob is here to give you a grand tour of everyone's favorite place. Are you deaf? There's nothing here except the three of us. Haha. -ha. Well. I've been stuck here for days. One afternoon, I was minding my own business in the box factory when this strange portal appeared. I thought you quit your job, or does this mean it's Kanan that, you, uh, that you're that you still working for the factory? I want to get, go back to my own world. Or is there anything I can do to help? Well, you're the only person who's shown up here since I, since I arrived. Maybe if I defeat you, I can finally go home. Hey, wait a second. Well, hey, I hope you're ready to suffer. What? Man, what? You, sh you sure got a lot worse, huh? And by me a stress covered Bob? Maybe I should switch to fire type damage. I think that'll be the best way. Okay, let's do it this time. Power focus. Fire sunder. I don't know what your gimmick is. Actually, we never directly fought Cardboard Bob himself. We just fought a proxy. So I'm not sure how strong he'll be. I blazed. No! Man, seriously? Dude! Element lock! Dude. Well, this makes me pretty mad. Now I have to wait for it to wear off before I can do a big ungabunga attack. Blender. Give me all your the money you earned as an actor. Ah! Damn it. He's too strong. Tackle. Does 
Am I... Man. Yeah, element lock, there's no real way to resist. Even Picari with that accessory cannot ex resist. Oh, man. Short my defenses for now. Play defensively and I'll win eventually. No! You dick! What? This is the only vacation I've had in seven years and I had to spend in this weird void. It's not fair. Mr. Flap won't let me be away from the desk again for another decade. I'll never know true freedom. I have half a mind to put in my two weeks the minute I get back. Do you understand what I'm going through? Oh, man. But that doesn't mean you can inflict element lock on me like a chump. Your strike! Oh, you punk. Just when I finally got rid of. Yeah, I need a tidal wave, you or you're gonna kill me. Problem is, he has so much hit points, he's gonna cycle back to it eventually. I have an advantage again. I can do this. I can do this. Before he casts Element Lock, I need to just smash him with fire as much as possible. Take this, big Unga Bunga Blaze! Wow, you're really good. It's time to race a six. A second form? No! Please don't use element lock. Haha, you better keep with my fighting spirit! Existential crisis! Wait, what does that mean? Is that like a, an indicator he's gonna do something really bad? No, he's inflicted something on me! What's this status effect? Does it screw up my defense or something? Oh, nuts! I don't understand what this does. I wish there was a way to view the effects here. Okay. Fire Sunder. Sea Bob 7000. Okay. Magic Charge. Burn. The heck is with his existential crisis gimmick? Is this- Wait, maybe if it counts down, something bad happens to me. Do, does that mean it's a, I'm on a time limit to win? Oh, nuts. Maybe I should have made Picario an offensive type. Ugh! No! <sighs> Please not kill Picari. Picari just probably barely got a good ending because I got all the treasure. What? Gosh, you're less stronger than you look. Wanna work as a packer for Box World? Doesn't sound very fulfilling. Of course it isn't. Nothing about working in a box factory is fulfilling. Okay. Come on. 
Come on, magic charge. High blaze. So close. My defenses and his offenses have gone back up. Power focus. Ugh. Oh no! Not all on me! Ugh. Ugh, I, I, I just need one more push! Power focus! Just spam fire sunder until this guy falls. Show you why the combo system is meta here. Magic charge. One last blaze. And get in the experience, of course. Holy moly, you sure don't mess around. But thanks for letting me uh, let off some steam. I feel like a new man. Well, hey. Cardboard box key item? What does that do? Wait, a ship? Looks like my right here. Farewell, strange fellow. Then th does that mean the other one's cooler crusader? Farewell, sh uh, I hope you'll come visit Box World someday. Not a chance. Good, I hate my job. So don't come back. Damn. So does that so that means uh, ha, so that means it's it's Kanan that we made him stay with Box World, sacrificing his happiness for the supposed greater good, or did he just go back eventually, no matter what our choice? I'm not sure. And who would the next one be? Okay, if, if, this better be Cooler Crusader. He's always showing up like once per game, huh? Except for. <laughs> Brief and meaningless adventure. What? A hallway? Looks like we're somewhere new. I see someone over there. What? No way! An, an, an evil Picari. Oh, hello there. It's a Chi Chi because it's red. Are you lost? The girl serves as awesome with a determined look in her eyes. Lunita and Marv? Lunar best friends? Oh, nuts. Who do I defeat first? I feel like I... No, if it's anything like before, should I... I don't know. I don't know. Am I supposed to just use AoE strats or something? Should I swap out for poison to keep them on their toes? What if they full heal themselves? Okay, what's the strat here? Should I just... Try to set up a magic combo, try to get poison and zeal set up. Is that the way to go? I don't even know the real strat here. Maru. Mass poison! I just don't know, man. Jack Knight. No! My healing is fucked. Can use an item combo, so to speak. Okay. Bastion. I recognize this. Wasn't when we fought the, that weird trio of bosses? I don't know who to strike first, though.
team tackle. Yeah, there's just not many hints about what I should be doing to deal with this. Now for High Blaze. Ugh! They just keep increasing... Man, they have all kinds of buffs. Maybe I should use that Tidal Wave thing. Power. And they have some pretty strong healing as well. know what the right choice is. I have no idea what kind of other tricks they have up their sleeve if they'll punish me for killing one before the other. The pink creature looks ready to redouble his efforts. Haha, -ha, you can't buff because I used Tidal Wave on you. Fool. Ha ha ha. Oh no, but they locked me down, so that is super bad. Chain Link. Okay. Yeah, that was actually very fortuitous, but that means that I might not be able to stop her buff, Lunita's buff. You're still buffing? Oh, nuts! They crit buffed! Sneak around. Does that mean they'll dodge things now? No, they're still unable to buff themselves properly, so I still have a major advantage. Uh, oh no, the fact that your body's still there means you're gonna revive at some point. Okay. Super bad. No, they can buff themselves again? Not good. Seriously, hit point lock? I should have given him the... Ugh. I should have given him the anti-status thing. Where's balance jump?
I blaze. Yeah, maybe they're the protagonists of, of the prison project, I guess. Man, they are strong. Blaze! Girl, let's try to fight even harder. Ugh. Use power focus. Without your partner, will you be able to defeat both of us? Blaze! Why are you spamming healing? Your healing will not keep up with me, ever. What are you waiting for? What's your trick here? What trickery is this? Okay, fire sunder spam. Focus. I bet that slime would have revi the slime dog would have revived her at some point. I'm not sure. I'll never know because I'm pretty sure this will finish it. Yeah. This girl smiles at Zazma. She seems impressed with his show of strength. Well, I'm not sure what I need to prove here, but I'm I hope you're satisfied. Violet Stone. This must unlock an even stronger boss. The girl nods farewell to Zazma and Picari. I may have to grind beyond level 32. Was that it? Any more secret to be found? Let me check the key items. Maybe there's a clue. It's just a trophy, is that it? Huh, we need it we need it in Maru. Is there really nothing else I can do with this? Lunar friends, in order for defeating Lunia and Maru. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't see any other otherwise the game would have show uh, given me a new portal of an even higher number, right? Hmm. In hindsight, this game taking place after the Destroy Absolution ending of Soma Union would make sense. Not just because of cameos, but also because the name Astro Hunter kind of implies space in some way. Which implies that they would need space travel in order to get to the ruins, which if the planet is still fractured. Hmm. That would also explain why Zazba was afraid of taking risks in the beginning, since traveling to a faraway ruin also means he, it would be much harder for a search party to find him if things went wrong. Yeah, since they would also ha they would have to find your coordinates in space, which is probably a lot trickier than finding your coordinates on a complete planet. Huh. Yeah, story-wise, instead of uh, f f saving the world from an evil god or absolution or whatever, you're just trying to get uh, come back to life in a sort of purgatory situation. Yeah, it's a purgatory full of chibi pixel people. Hmm. Yeah, and you're also trying to uphold the legacy of all the uh, of all the people in the tower who never really got a chance to be properly recognized. So apparently, if you get the, if you get, don't get all the treasures, then 
the museum the museum will uh, uh, face less success or even close down completely and uh, Zosma won't get the very high rank even though he is he has to prove himself in combat in order to actually get through the tower in the first place since his treasure hunting skills are not up to par yeah in terms of combat Zosma is actually probably one of the strongest people in the whole torch verse having a combo system when ever no one else does Sure, he has to deal, uh, take more actions to deal, uh, uh, to uh, defeat someone, but he gets so much versatility that it doesn't really matter. You just throw in a potion while spamming hit whatever attack he has on board. Hmm. So I wonder how this fits into the continuity, considering there's also Captain Scuttlebone, who is who is likely from a different universe from the Soma uh, from Soma since she was in a different book while Crusader was at, on the top shelf yes I wonder if epilogue adventures will somehow tie together this whole multiverse thing because maybe we'll even get some surprise appearances from vill uh, from villains like Absolution and form and dissonance. Well, of course, my my own life would probably be like an anti-example of carrying on legacy. I don't think I have much of a legacy other than just posting a few obscure RPG Maker videos on YouTube. I will probably fade into obscurity just like Zazma in the bad endings. I am literally the a, a living example of bad ending Zazma. Don't be like me. Anyways, that's all I have to say about Astro Hunter Zosma. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try the game for yourself.